Hello and welcome to another Moog demo library. In this video, we're going to show you how to get up and running with the Mografogra effects plugins and our new plugin shop. You can find the plugin shop at software.moogmusic.com. So the first thing you'll want to do is create an account or log in if you already have one. Note that at this time, Moog software accounts are different from Moog hardware accounts. So even if you already have an account on moogmusic.com for registering your hardware instruments, you'll have to create a new account for the software plugin shop. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in here and return to the home page. Here on the home page, we have the plugin shop where you can buy the complete Mografoger effects bundle or choose individual Mografoger plugins a la carte. You can also create your own bundle, either of two or four plugins. If we go to four, for example, you can choose four plugins, let's say the 102 Remodulator, the 103 Phaser, the 104 Delay, and the 107 Freak Box, and add those to your cart. Once your cart is ready with all the plugins that you'd like, you can scroll to the bottom and check out. Once you've checked out, if you're logged into your account, you should see the software you've purchased in your software. In this case, I've already bought the 102 Ring Modulator. If you weren't logged in when you purchased your plugins, or you purchased them from a dealer and have a registration code, you can go to Register Software. Here I have a registration code for a 103 Phaser, and if I just put in that code, it'll be added to my software. I also have a 104 Delay, and I'm just going to register that to my account as well. So now I have three plugins. I have their licenses, and I have downloads for the installers for either Mac OS or Windows. I'll download the 103 for Mac OS now, as well as the 104. Now I'm going to click on the package for the 103 to install it. I'll click through, install it on my hard drive, and here I can choose what plugin flavor to use, either AAX if you're using Pro Tools, AU if you're using Logic, or VST3 for most other applications. I tend to use a mix of both audio units and VST3 plugins, but I don't really use Pro Tools. So I'll uncheck AAX and continue. And I'm done. I'll just go through the same thing for the 104 delay. And now those are installed. And I can delete the package files. The last step is to link your Mografoger plugins to your iLock account. You don't need to have a physical iLock dongle or anything to use the Mografoger plugins, but you will need an iLock account. So if you don't have one yet, you can go to iLock's website to create an iLock account and download the iLock license manager, which will handle all of your software licenses. I'll sign in here to my account. And I already have the 104, 103, and 102 that I just bought because I had linked my iLock account to my Moog Music software account using the iLock account button. Here you can link your iLock account to your Moog software account to automatically add any new licenses to your iLock account. If you haven't linked your iLock account with your Moog Music software account, then you can just go to the email associated with your Moog software account. And in there, for example, in my 102 Ring Modulator email, you'll find an iLock activation code that you can just copy and bring over to the license manager, redeem an activation code, and paste it in. I can go to my 102 Ring Modulator and activate it on my local machine and do the same for the 103 phaser and delay. Now I'll open up Ableton Live to start using my new plugins. In Live, if you go to Plugins and VST3 and down to Moog, you'll see all of your Mografogers. In this case, I already had all seven of the original Mografogers. If you don't see your Mografogers, go to Preferences in Live, Plugins, and you can click Rescan Plugins to have Live rescan your plugins folder. If you are using the Mografogers as VST3, make sure that you have VST3 plugins set to on and make sure that your plugin folder path is correct. If you're using audio units, make sure audio units version 2 is on. Now we can start playing around with the Mografogers. Let's load up an instance of the Model D software and choose a preset. 
I'm going to go to the Veluto Giallo pack and choose the Bog Base patch. And now let's play the Model D. And run it through the MF-102 ring modulator. The MF-104 delay. And the MF-103 phaser. What if we want to use the Mogerfogers in Logic? Let's open up Logic, go to an empty project, and click Software Instrument. And let's load up the Model D here, choosing a different preset this time. The Caspian organ in the CMOS preset pack. If we want to add an effect, we can go down to Audio Units, find our Mogerfogers, and let's load up the MF-108 Cluster Flux. as well as bring up the musical typing keyboard. Check out our other Moog demo libraries where we explore the CV interconnectivity of the Mogerfogers, how to automate the Mogerfoger effects in your DAW, and how to use the sidechain capabilities of the Mogerfogers.